Yeah, uh, Prof here with something kind of special today. I ordered in, this is the first thing I've ordered from a uh, third party seller on Walmart, to my knowledge. Let's get some more lights. Oh, jeez. There we go. More lights coming on here. And what we got are the mini tins. You can see them kind of right there. They just each have like I think two packs in and a coin. Maybe something else. Let's read the back here. Uh, includes two boosters, one metallic coin, and one Pokemon art card. I bought the, a pack that comes with all five. And these are the ones I don't have. Because I actually have two different sets of the mini tins already. Um, and this set is not the one I had. And I found a seller that was selling them for a somewhat reasonable price. With all five of the different tins. So I didn't have to go and track them down myself. Which I, uh, I appreciate. Um, and, uh, ooh, I guess that's the one we're gonna open Score Bunny first, since it, uh, fell down there. Let me get the shorter tripod on there real quick. Oh, we were watching some F1 as I was doing some sorting here. Um, however, a whole bunch of stuff is out of, out of order, and I gave up. Because I think I started with the, with the smallest pile first, and, oh gosh, somebody was playing with the tripod here. There? Sure. There we go. Oh, uh. These lights haven't warmed up, warmed up all yet. Well, since it fell down, first one we're doing here is the Score Bunny tin. And as you can see, there's a Pikachu tail there. So, and that's actually an Amazon part number code, even though these came from Walmart. Very intriguing. Let's uh, snap. Oh, um, yeah, it should go that way. I just did it upstairs by hand. Now... Of course, I can't, but we have players right here, so. I just snapped one upstairs by hand, and now I can't snap this guy. Well, before I go too far, just thought about that. We really should get a picture. Up all of these lined up here for the old YouTube Aru. Right? You guys gotta know what you're gonna watch your video of, right? Said score bunny is first here. These each only have two packs. That's why we're doing a whole bunch of them. Put your knife away. Score bunny, Pikachu. Alright, coin. We have, I, I don't, is that like the evolved form of Luxio, maybe? It's very, very holographic. These also get beat up because they just bang around. It's a uh, little popper in the 
the sleeve there. Then we have the Score Bunny card here. Score Bunny, 183, height 1 foot. And, just, and then the same art that is on the tin is on the card. I think I kept my other ones in the actual tin. I think they're too big to sleeve. Take a look here. Yeah, just a touch too big to sleeve. I mean, I guess I could... Still? You can't see the art on the back and stuff. Hamlet's here, because you he heard me talking. Alright, so what, we, what do we got in here? Oh, it was a bit, it was a bit brutal on that, sorry. Alright, so in the score bunny, probably going to be in all of these, we have a sun and moon pack and a sword and shield pack. So, let's uh, pop the score bunny back up here. Sword and shield first. Ooh, that was a good pull. That's, that's a fresh one right there. White back. That's what we we always like. If you guys uh, want any online cards, go hit me up over on Twitter, at The Prophecist. Just let me know what video you watched and what card you're looking for, and I'll send one over. One, two, three, four. I'm going to go grass. Steel. Okay. We have a... Seeking, Thwacky, Lucky Egg, Ghastly, I like that Ghastly. What are you even doing, Hamlet? Hamlet! Rookity, Sizzlypeed, I like that Snom, I'm a big fan of Snom, so. Mawile, Palpad, and then what's our... Hollow. Copper a jaw. I have not had this one yet, so I, I have proof. It's not very well done, because you can see it might be hard to tell with the current brightness, because we're getting a lot of reflecting off of the tins. But, towards the bottom here, you know, Hamlet really wanted his catnip. Well, technically it's Gertrude's catnip, but... It runs down into the bottom of the card, and very visible on that bottom edge. It's actually rough on the bottom edge there. Kind of rip. I have to order more sleeves. So I got less than a half a box of orange here, and I got less than a half a box of... Magenta. I got a pretty big box of mint, I guess. Alright, and sword and, or sun and moon. Up next. Oh, I ripped the pack in half. Apparently Hamlet's happy with that bed over there because he's climbing in. Good for me. I'm not a huge fan of uh I like the sun and moon packs, but not the standard sun and moon. Greenback. One, two, three, four. Dark energy. Oop, dragon air. I'll take a dragon type. Golbat, not bad as well. Pokemon Catcher. Young Goose. Torkoal. Litten. Stuffle. The weird Eevee. Reverse Hollow Litten, that actually looks pretty dope. I think you can see that there. And then a Palo Sand Rare Non Hollow. Alright, which one do we do next? Let's do the, the more Pico and. Um, 
Yemper, I want to I say. Very carefully opening these up here. Same coin. I wonder if it's the same coin each one. Kind of be boring. Okay, so we got a Yamper card. Apparently, it says you can combine all five cards into one big picture. There's Sword and Shield. There's Sun and Moon. Popping the Amper back up there. Alright. First up. Sword and Shield. I might rip it in half. I felt that go right away. So we got a score bunny. Okay, we got a green back. One, two, three, four electric type. Steel. We're getting some kind of cool ones here. Alright, big charm. I don't know if I've pulled that before. Seeking. Thwacky. Definitely just pulled the score bunny. Nicket. Chincho. Diglett, and just looking up at this guy, admiring the world. Pharaoh Seed, Pokemon Catcher, pretty sure I got plenty of those, and Thiebel as our rare non hollow. I don't have a card in these to tell me what they are, because I don't remember which, like, tin this set is. White back, heck yeah. One, two, three, four. Sun and moon. I'm going to say psychic. Steel again. Alright, so we have... Araquanid. It should be Aquanid. Aqu Grenad. Yep. Professor Kuki, I believe it is. Golbat. Growlithe. Sunskirt. Formantis. Morelol. Sandygast. Reverse Hollow Paris. Pretty badass looking for Reverse Hollow again. Followed by. Oh, ho. that is mad. That is a secret rare nest ball. And that thing is mad hollow. Let's see if we can get a snap of that. How mad hollow that is. Really actually hard to photograph. It's so freaking holographic. And like the green and the gold, like offset. Kind of crazy. Like it, it's even thicker. Like you can feel it when it goes in that sleeve there. Quite a bit thicker. Alright, let's go with Groki next here. Here's our next 10. That's Groki and two Wooloos. Right. 
Yeah, another coin. Ooh, a different one. It's a Litten. Very beat up Litten. Our Grokey card here, height one foot, eleven pounds. Uses its special stick to strike a beat, and the sound waves produce carry it and revitalizing energy to plant some flowers in the area. Don't get why it's with Lulu. Those things seem like two completely different Pokemans. They're based on actual animals. You know, they would live in two completely different environments. But what do I know? Alright, yeah, the one downside, and I think this is why a lot of like, collectors avoid these, unless you're collecting the tins, is, uh, they really jam them in there. They're not as bad as the Pokeballs. Ooh, that's a good one, too. Freshy right there. Green back. They really jam them in there, so I don't th I think the cards aren't necessarily always the best condition. Four, one, two, three, four. Fire. Sidekick. There's a line in the bottom of this one. Alright. Poke Kid. Energy Search. Team Yeldrunt. Mincino. Galarian Ponyta. That's basically a My Little Pony. Cottony. Score Bunny. Just look at that. Running so fast, lighting stuff on fire. Silly Cobra. Reverse Hollow Poke Kid. And a. That's a, such a nice card. Rare non hollow nine tails. That would look awesome as a hollow. Alright, next up would be Sun and Moon here. Oh, and I ripped. These Sun and Moon packs are much older. And the uh, sword and field, like a year plus, I would have to imagine. Not two years older. Oh, come on. Okay. Am I hiring back? One, two, three, four. Fighting. Alright. Metapod, I like that one. A Tor Cat. Rainbow Energy. Young Goose. Tor Call. Litten. Stuffle. Weird looking Eevee. Picky Peck. Reverse Hollow. And a crabom crabomdol. Is this I think it's a sobble. Might be wrong. Yeah, it should be sobble, score bunny, and groki as like starters. And we got Yamper and Galarian Ponyta. As our last one. I would say that's the only non like double Pokemon I think. Which is that is cool one of the cooler looking ones. Here's our Sobble. Same Litten coin. And we're out of black sleeves. I rejected that. Stuffed more than what comes in there in Wally's. So. Here's our Sobble card. Or not card, I guess. Description card, whatever you want. You want to talk about or call it? Yeah, they should make those just a freaking hair bigger. Green 
back from our sword and shield here. One, two, three, four. Electric. Psychic. Darn it. Alright, so we've got Raboot. Pseudo Wudo. By the way, I've been using this guy successfully in one of my decks. Super nice to have. Like, it's a Charizard with a voltage deck, I believe. And uh, I play him first turn a lot if I have him because only one energy. He's got 100 HP, he can get hurt a little bit. Then you use him until he gets hurt to draw cards. Once he gets hurt a little bit, you can actually do some decent damage. And that just bides you time to get better Pokemon. Very good card for that. Hop. Shelter. My while. Flaring Ponyta. Sobble. That is the pack we're pulling right now. Marcus. Marcus. Yamper. Reverse Hollow. And a Grap. Grap locked. Grap locked. It's hard to say. Well, from a cloud of us. Alright, I got Sun and Moon from the Sobleton here. Next up, as I tear the pack the wrong way and whatever. And I got another green pack. Two, three, four. Fairy energy. Been a while since I've seen one of those. We've got energy switch, Tora Cat, Crushing Hammer, Togedemaru, Chincho, Makuhita, Caterpie, Paris, uh, Fighting Pose there, Pokeball, Reverse Hollow, and a two cannon. Rare non hollow. Very nice art there. Very pops a ton. <sighs> Pokeball here. And then the last tin of the video here that we have is going to be the Galarian Ponyta tin. That looks exactly like a My Little Pony character. I'm not saying that's bad, by the way, guys. Just saying what I think. Yeah. Another Litten coin. That one's even got like a sharp edge on it. Like somebody didn't, uh. That robot didn't do their job properly again, guys. Fire him. See those robots feel when they're out of a job. Pony Taw 10. Oh, like smashed into the score bunny. Alright, our last, fifth and last Sword and Shield pack. Got a green back again. One, two, three. Three, four. Fire, but I have not had one of those yet tonight. Normally these are pretty, pretty common. All right, we got a Raboot, Pseudo Udo again. Hop again. Ooh, that's very interesting. Hoot Hoot, Score Bunny, Kachu. We got a Kachu in a nice pose there. Oh, these are very rough on one of these edges here. Sinisty, Wooloo. Reverse Hollow Nine Tails. So it's getting closer to the card I want. Getting closer. That one's barely recognizable. Let's hit it like that angle as a reverse hollow. And then Cramorant. Not a huge fan of Cramorant. Don't know why Jared is. Or Mooski. If you guys haven't watched those. Our streams. You should uh, follow us over on Twitch sometime. And uh, usually announce it over on uh, Twitter and Instagram. You know, keep an eye out over there. Um, because uh, we have a ton of fun. Usually a couple a couple hours. We might do it once once a weekend at most, but it's always it's always a hoot. Yeah, and not a hoot hoot. 
just a normal, a normal hoot. All right, last pack, last and fifth and last sun and moon pack as well. Pack and another green pack. We have like two white backs, I think. Jeez. One, two, three, four. Grass. Fire again. Fire back to back. Alright. We got Pokemon Catcher. Golbat. Dragonair. Cutify. Makuhita. Snubble. It's like a chalk, probably. Alolan Rattata. Sandial. Ooh, that one really pops. Reverse Hollow Golbat. And a Palo Sand Rare Non Hollow. Well, that is it, because we are out of mini tins. But let's go over what we pulled here. So, I've got a. Reverse Hollow Pal Pad. Hey, this is probably a decent. This is a decent pull here. Minus the cards in not great shape. The Hollow goes well down into here. Copper Jaw, like a standard one. Pretty good looking art. Reverse Hollow Litten. Pokemon Catcher Reverse Hollow. Reverse Hollow Paris. And there's our pull of the video right there. Secret Rare Sun and Moon. Gold Nest Ball. And we have a Poke Kid Reverse Hollow, Picky Peck Reverse Hollow, Yamper Reverse Hollow, Pokeball Reverse Hollow, Nine Tails Reverse Hollow, and last, the Golbat Reverse Hollow. Let me know what you guys thought of this video down below. What do you think of these little mini tins? Normally, these should be pretty easy to pick up at like a checkout or something for pretty cheap. Uh, not really the case anymore, especially if you want to get all the different ones. Probably the easiest, because um, they're actually kind of hard to get, too, to get just the five-pack with them all. You'll pay a little bit more, I think, than if you could find them separately, but just getting them, period, separately is kind of hard. So, that'd be my recommendation. Links down below for all the stuff that I, uh, all the places I get this stuff. And, uh, you know, hit subscribe if you enjoyed it. Check out the next 